I got my 30 foot enclosed here and um, we snowmobile out of the thing. So I bought one of those little Chinese heaters and I'm going to set that up in here so that at least when we come back from riding, we can be warm and everything. And uh, I, my goal is that it'll melt the snow off the roof because I don't really trust this roof with, you know, three feet of snow on it. So um, I think I'm going to mount it right about there and um, hopefully I'm going to test it today and see uh, how warm it can actually get this trailer. So I have everything pretty much all laid out in here already. Uh, I got a lot of fuel line, little fuel pump, uh, muffler, but that's going nowhere because we're going to straight pipe the thing. So... <laughs> um got a little bracket here that i'm gonna have to make up because i want it kind of hanging on the wall i don't want to leave this thing on the floor uh this is the inlet where your fuel comes in obviously a little lcd touch screen um i don't know what the hell this thing is probably not gonna use it uh, um we got diffuser and a little exhaust pipe i mean it's so cute it's a little tiny but probably gonna run that straight out the bottom and i don't know how the intake works on this thing i think this is the intake but it, I'm probably just going to let it pull air from just, you know, the cabin. Then you got this little wiring harness. You're probably going to need a battery in the trailer for this because I wouldn't want to run it off the um, off the truck battery when you're not there and whatnot. So I have a little lawnmower battery in there. Hopefully that'll be enough. I knew I was going to have to make up some brackets for this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to weld these like little L brackets onto them. They're actually pretty thick. And I'm going to weld these L brackets right onto there, onto this bottom plate. And I kind of want it to sit as flush to the wall of the trailer as possible. And as you can see, I have that little um, chunk of metal there. But I, I think I'm going to, I don't know, maybe I should leave it off the wall. I haven't really decided yet. And right around 6 o'clock that evening, the boss was awake at last. Thank God, we thought, said Logachev, one of his guards. Everything's all right. But things weren't all right. So I pretty much decided to uh, put it right there. I'm gonna put the fuel tank, fuel tanks right there. I'm gonna put it right there, and then obviously uh, fuel lines in them. Alright, so that's pretty much the way I got the fuel line set up. I should probably shorten both of these lines down here because you can kind of see. Um, apparently, you got to put the fuel uh, pump this way so that air bubbles can actually escape from it. So pretty much put it together all wired up, kind of crappy, just just because I'm not 100%. Oh. So after like two or three electrical connectors, one to the fuel pump, one to the LCD screen that's over there at the moment. And then just obviously two wires to the battery. Uh, I'm ready to give this thing a shot. I kind of wired it like just out on the floor because I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet now. I think I might still move it over there, but we're going to try to start it up now. I'm just going to go ahead and start it up and just run it and see how long, like just run it for a little bit and see how it gets in here. So I'll just press the on button. Here it kick on. And then you can see that. That little thing right there means the glow plug is running and you can see it pulls a lot of amperage. Like I, somebody was saying it pulls up to nine amps and you can see it's kind of killing the battery a little bit. I just wanted to help out my little lawnmower battery before I go and throw a better battery in it. Oh, she is ripping. You can hear this thing go. Got some good heat coming off it. I'll probably get a temp gun in a few just to see how it's doing. Uh, it's been running for about 36 minutes or something like that. And uh, it definitely took a lot of battery to get this thing going. I mean, I got the battery 
charger on it still. The glow plug, like I said, can take up to nine amps or something like that. But it's it's significantly warmer in here right now. I guess it really matters where you blow the air because back here it's it's almost hot. Up up front it's a little cold. So this thing's been running for about an hour and 40 minutes. Um, and it's 27 degrees outside. And I got the super duper high tech thermometer. I don't know if you can see the blue on it, but if you were to be able to see the blue on this, it's about 53, 54 degrees in here. Very front of the trailer, I have the door kind of propped open because I'm charging the battery too. I gotta get a bigger battery for it for sure. But you know, that's impressive. I, I My goal is to be able to melt the snow off the roof and you can already kind of see it's, it's loosening up. And I mean, it's manageable in here. I'm, I'm very happy and impressed with this little heater. So I decided to move the heater over here from back where I was over there. Um, I'm happy with it. I ran it for a little bit last night and it got the roof pretty hot. It, it got nice and warm in here, but it's, it's not cold outside right now anyway. Um, the tank's right there now. I could always fit a bigger tank right over there. And uh, I just, I, I didn't see the point in tucking the, tucking the uh, hoses and wiring behind the, uh, behind the paneling. It's just, this is, this seems like it works out okay. And uh, I've yet to pipe out the exhaust, but I've been told that you don't actually have to. So the heater is more efficient if you don't actually pipe out the exhaust. But this is the final setup. I'm super happy. It takes up like no space.